opposite of this. We'll have our backs against the bolster that we're currently hugging. And our feet will be up on the bolster in front of us again for both pose. In two minutes, we'll begin a nice gentle transition. I'll let you know when that time has elapsed. those organs, allowing them to move and function more efficiently. to begin our transition now. Perhaps start with grounding yourself, finding your hands on the floor in front of you, pushing up to seated position. Rotating to the middle first for hero's position. And then we can transition very slowly. If we scooch up to the edge of the bolster first and find it with our hands, then we can gently guide our back onto the bolster and shift the glutes so they feel nice and comfy on the blanket. Now we'll just raise our legs up on the bolster in front of us again. And this time, Crossing our right leg over our left and leaving the knee bent. And we'll raise that left leg, the knee, so that we can put a hand through, and this is a pigeon, and we'll just rest here in his pigeon pose for a few moments. So feel good just to hold on to your right knee and your right ankle and just support that way. Sometimes we can be very tight and it's hard to reach through and hold at the back of our left thigh. And that's okay, we can just hold above. Position and we'll 
transition to pigeon on the other side. Hands 
are on top of my head with my fingers laced. I'm able to use the heels of my palms to gently do some cranial pumping at my parietal bones. This sounds complicated, but it's really just relaxing and every few seconds pushing your palms together on the sides of your head very, very gently and lightly. As if you're pumping fluid up your spine from your tailbone up to your brain because that is what we're doing. This is called cranial pumping. And this assists your brain in eliminating metabolic waste. This activity has been documented to help dementia and Alzheimer's patients in the villages. This is a cranial sacral therapy movement. You can do this in traffic, at your desk, at your wit's end. <laughs> the magic is in the light touch. The lighter you go, the deeper you're going to feel this. We'll just hang out in this position for another minute where we move on to our next one. Now, 
if you have heart problems, vertigo, dizziness, I highly recommend that you keep your head above your heart. Maybe use a block to put the back of your head on. If you feel at all nauseous or dizzy, please put that block behind your head so that your heart is below your brain. Thank you. 
We'll slowly begin our transition to Shavasana, our final resting position. You are welcome to stay where you are if you're comfortable. Shavasana is lying flat on the floor. But again, this is your body and your practice. So if you feel really comfortable where you are, enjoy that. Grab your eye pillow if you like. If you would like an additional blanket to cover up with, raise your hand and I'll bring that to you. 